Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and for some reason, every single time I try to come for facial reconstruction, something stops me. In this case, I found a blood splatter. I ignore, ignored it. I examined it, and this. This came up. The latest hairstyles from the upper Doc. stand. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Well, I'm not gonna care to explain this. all this blood leading to the cellar. Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. Go check for yourself. I'm sure you'll find there's nothing going on here besides medicine. I'll go in the front door instead of the uh, little side bit there. Just as a safety precaution. Wait. Oh, I see. They are, in fact, two separate places. I want you to know that if he is involved in something, I am not going to get him in trouble. I need facial reconstruction options. Every single time I've tried to do it, I haven't been allowed. Also, I should not have succeeded at oh, that Earl. check. You've, you've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. So you were performing surgery and Earl didn't make it. Is that I, it? I uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who I has am a it? problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, Everyone would just think the Institute took him. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just... think this I through. I have thought this through. Don't worry. I'll make this quick and painless. Oh, naughty naughty. You're not Are you serious? <sighs> What's going on here? Is... Is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Take a look around for yourself. You'll figure it out. That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. What now? What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. But what about my facial reconstruction? <laughs> Stupid game. Why? Why do you do this to me? Huh? Let me guess. So thirsty. A new facial reconstruction doctor isn't going to show up. Need a new Coca Cola. Give Sheffield a new Coca Cola. You know what? You find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Yeah. Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend for one. That plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl's not doing a lot of running anymore. Hmm. Being chopped to bits by Doc Crocker will do that. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. He's dead. Now, can I get my caps? Crocker's dead, too? Goodness. What a mess. Here. Take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout end know what happened. 
Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. You know, I hmm, can't guarantee it'll caps. be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, Nick? The case uh, for Marty? I do. Some loony scheme to make off with a statue of a grasshopper or something. You're welcome to page through it if you like. In the folder on the cat. No, no. 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 Oh, wait a second here. If that's the... If that's the only facial reconstruction doctor in t the inside entire of the city, soldiers, or entire of the game even, I hope it's not the only one in the entire game. That prescriptions that would not be cool. High quality cams right here. Oh, you! Uh, the cellar has been sanitized, and ownership of the surgery has reverted to me. I hope you'll give us another chance. Oh, cool. Cool. Okay. Not Fine. I'll come back to this later then. Since I've been so rudely distracted again. Yep. Just another day in Fallout. So back to what I was doing. I was going to, you know, just have a look, play around with facial reconstruction, and then. Come back to over here, but no, everything had to go weird. What is the signal? No, 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 no. It's distress signals I need to do. Hmm? What? What? Is that it? Is that what you're telling me about? No? Well, this is this, this, this. This is good. Yeah. Anyhow. Back to being rudely distracted. Again. And again. Let's be honest. That's what Fallout specializes at. Distracting you. <sighs> so, wait. Why am I going here instead of inside the Institute itself? To be honest. There's something a bit weird going on, I feel. Sean? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here. I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth. The Institute rescued me. I can Both agree with us, that. Really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. 
to not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. You let me out? So it was you. You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Will the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. Repurposed? What do you mean the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming, and they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become caps. more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like An you to join me An unstoppable wanderer inside. achievement. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Stop it with your stairs. Oh, come on. Stick your head back out. Oh, missed. Ah. Your movements are ridiculous. No, oh, seriously. Cease and desist with your ridiculous movements. Okay, that one was just my fault. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Well then, my one was a legendary raider though, so I must investigate. You're not the legendary raider. You are. You. Quick draw 10 millimeter auto nice. pistol. Cost 25% last action points. Hmm. Not bad. Not right. bad. Ah. What? What the? So, Fallout has a sort of 
cover system. Sort of. You know, it's it's kind of mm, iffy. But it works, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Hmm. There's a building there. Do I want to explore the building? Oh, shotgun shells. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll get some more shotgun what shells the in fuck here. Was that? Payback time, boogeyman! Going down. Oh. Oh. Going down. <laughs> Didn't go down, go up. You are so dead! Okay. So far, two shots, two kills. Wait, what? Is that all there is to this building? Really? But I went up an elevator, so where am I at now? Oh. Interesting. Ah, I see. This is where the big old loot container is. Bayoneted light combat sniper rifle. What? Really? Uh. Uh, anyhow, I think it's time to go into the institute. Well, that doesn't look terrifying at all. I'm here. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. Uh, uh, I don't know. I haven't determined whether or not I agree with it. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... I leveled up. When did that happen? Okay, so what do I want to do? Hmm. See, I almost want this just because it sounds... Meh. It sounds meh, so I'm getting it. Well, it's important. Uh... I don't get it? Uh, I have it, right? Okay, yeah. Son? Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. It's important, it says. Ooh. You call this a clean floor? Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Let's get this direct. Anyhow, before we speak for it. It's perhaps after you be disassembled. We can it's important components to make something that's actually useful. Good, we're all here. I think it's okay. time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. 
SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. Yeah. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Compromises? What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase 3 is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Uh, y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Can't please, be serious. everyone, please. I'm sorry. Hmm. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. Hmm. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Uh... Humanity's future is taking root right here. To be fair. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Mm, only a little bit. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous. Perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. 
Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Okay. I really need to start pulling my shotgun out. What was that achievement I just got? Mankind Redefined, also known as the end of that quest. Okay. Up? What do you mean up? Hmm. Okay. If you say so. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. No. Can't the... believe he would accuse me. Of what? Who's being accused of something? Another lovely day, isn't it? Okay, can you make me stop making me walk in circles, Busy please? Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Operation? What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's all. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. <sighs> You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you going to put up a stink, or can we get moving? Fine. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Uh... Wait, so I have to actually go up to the relay, and then they'll relay me to where I need to be? Really? I see. Fine. Hurry up, elevator. I don't have time for your sheet. I really need to stop pulling out my gun in here. Um, I realize I've just stopped the elevator, but I want to check something. 180, 44 magnum rounds. Might have to... Well, I don't have any... I don't really have adhesive. Which is a problem. I need to find like an old factory, probably one that contains a bunch of wonder glue or duct tape or both, really. I'm really in a lack of adhesive right now, and I'm not buying it. Speaking of which... How many... There's still two more ranks on that. So I can actually open vats anywhere now. Cool. I'm not sure I like how the line shows up. It's very similar to how... Uh, use the relay. It's very similar to how clairvoyance worked in Skyrim. Except for it looks really terrible. It might have just been where I was, to be fair. A good neighbor was found in the year 2240 by a group of criminals who were banished from Diamond City. To be fair, what is the half-life of the uh, radiation of the nuclear bombs that landed on 
Diamond City. Oh, you are right. The Brotherhood sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them. 